<clears throat> Hi everybody, Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor. Welcome to the Drill Instructor's Billiard Studio and thank you for joining me tonight for the clinic. So, a couple of weeks ago, I got some requests and I'm sorry I had to just kind of wait till tonight to deal with. I've been asked if I can please help with some partner drills, buddy drills. How can you work with somebody and uh, maybe you shoot pool together or you only have one table to work on and uh, it's okay. It's actually a little bit more than just some logic. So I put together a little bit of an outline to give you real help. You can go back through the material as you can to understand what I'm talking about and have fun doing this. Thanks to our sponsors, Pool and Billiard Magazine, Diamond Billiard Products, and Dr. Harrison for my great pool glasses, especially want to say to all of you who are joining me and you're juicing, you're healthy, you're losing weight, your body is energized, you feel great. And I, as you know, I have been using the Kuvings machine all along. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be taking my one year after photo. And that's right, because last year I lost over 100 pounds. But here's the thing. Most people, they just put it all right back on after a while. You don't make a, you know, this is the kind of thing I do that's a lifestyle. Keep in mind, understand what we do here. Billiards is a sport. It's not just a game of chance. And you really need to treat it well. You need to treat you well so that you can actually handle the endurance, the duration, and everything that's necessary that gets put on us to join these events that are days long and sometimes waiting hours between matches. Then you're eating junk, you're drinking sugar. You know, do you realize there's like 11 teaspoons of sugar in just a single soda? Most people who drink three or more a day over 30 tablespoons or teaspoons of sugar just like totally shuts down your immune system for the day. So look, I have kept it off. I feel fabulous. I just walked 18 holes on the golf course today. No, I don't ride in a cart. I walk it. But I do have a new sponsor that soon may be coming on board. I don't know if they're going to want me or not. Uh, they've got a product that I'm anxious to try. I'm excited about it. I'm going to pass on the news to you about it. But bottom line is cold press juicing. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. But yes, I eat some regular food here and there as I go, but I don't eat the junk and I keep it off and I feel great. And my wife, Linda, is especially happy about it. So I'm going to be talking more about that as time goes by with all of you because uh, it's summertime and it's time to just make sure you don't just get totally trashed pigging out and eating the wrong stuff, especially after this weekend. I'll bet there's a lot of you feel guilty about the barbecues. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. So partners, buddies. Okay. So I'm going to be saying a lot of things today. You might want to take some notes, but as always, you're going to be able to go back through it. <clears throat> Look, when you want to do partner drills, you want to call them partner drills, uh, training drills with your playing partners, team drills, partner drills, buddy drills, whatever you call them. There are six different things that you can do. Six different things that work to build the work you're doing together to be more productive, building you into a better pool player. And I'm going to share these. First of all, um, the first thing you could do is alternate shooting. Now, I just happened to put a drill on the table. I, I was going to start warming up and I didn't realize the time got away from me. So just, I'm going to start with this, but I'll show you a couple of others. Okay, but alternate shots. So what happens here, think of yourself as working like a team. Alternate shots. You might decide you want to shoot all the solids first. Or you want to just shoot this end of the table, then that end, then the middle. You just want to shoot any ball in any order in any pocket. Just don't miss and don't run into another ball. But what you can do is alternating with your partner. If that's how you're playing scotch doubles, you could take any one of the drill instructor drills and do them with alternating shots. So this would be my first shot. And I'm going to take the one ball. Now, let's say you're a left-handed shooter. I'm right-handed, you're left-handed. So one of the things I might do and stuff like that is I might take this kind of drill and then go like this 
And now I'm going to put you in a position on this side of the table to take your left-handed side position from over here. And this makes the shot so much easier for you to work with if your partner is lefty and you're righty. If you're both lefty, one of the things that happens with partners is you're not paying attention to leaving each other on the best side of the table. So take any one of the drill instructor drills. And I advise any of you who are even open to the idea, would you like to have all of my drills and all of my intensive private classes? You can on Drill Instructor TV. So you can go right to the top of the Facebook page, do it later, go check out a sample of one of the classes I put up there. But I've got great stuff up there. All my, D, all my drills, my DI drills, everything is up there. There's over 20 something hours worth of just, you know, thousands of shots and drills that I put up there for you. Because little by little, all this stuff is changing and it's gonna be subscription based. And I want you to be first on board. Okay, anyway. So my partner is going to do this and he's going to shoot an alternate shot. Now, if you do mess up, one of the best things to do with alternate shooting is also put your partner in positions where they have to work a little harder because they might be coming in. So as an example, now your partner has to work with a bridge. And I'm, of course, working with Mr. Keller's Just a Pro bridge here, which is exceptional. So now I'm going to use this because I am going to put myself into a better position for my partner's shot. Next, there we go. Perfect. So you might, you might use alternate shooting drills to both put your partner on the right side of the drill as well as put them on the wrong side and work with those types of scenarios. And you could go through any of the drill instructor drills and use them. So alternating shots, that's number one. Number two, number two, you could do what I like to do when I'm working with friends. And by the way, I've got some amazing buddy drills up on DITV that you can actually see me doing with my partner, Bert, and others. But when you're going to do simultaneous shooting, simultaneous shooting. Many times you're gonna to need to have um, landing markers. So here, for example, let's take one here where we put a piece of paper down here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put another piece of paper down here. So here is just one example. Let's say uh, I'm going to take this shot to the corner pocket, and, and now one of the things you might do is also Focus on, make sure you're focused on shooting winning balls. So shooting the nine ball and the eight ball or the nine and the 10, uh, depending on which game you're playing. And then of course, if you're gonna do simultaneous drills, you're also gonna have to have more than one cue ball. You understand? Now they don't have to be the same cue ball, but if you happen to have it. So here's, here's a shot we'll say in particular. We'll put this shot up and now, you have everything. So it's going to be important for you to use chalk. You got to use chalk when you're doing simultaneous shots because then the both of you can mark exactly where you're starting from, mark your position balls that you're going to have up there. And there's a variety of ways you could do this, but use a little common sense, okay? This, a simultaneous drill, is going to be where I'm going to be on the eight ball and my partner is going to be on the nine ball and at the exact same time so somebody's got to be in charge and you're going to say together you're going to go one two three release and you shoot if you miss pick up the ball get it out of the way because your partner is trying to do their shot so one of the things that goes wrong with simultaneous shots is you're not quick enough to pay attention to recognizing you're not the only one on the table anymore and you're both trying to get this cue ball all the way around the table. So as an example, let's take these off the table for the moment and now I'll go ahead and shoot this shot 
and watch what we're trying to do. We're trying to land on this piece of paper, and we're just choosing this to start with. Now, if one of you has worked out the shot ahead of time, wonderful. If you haven't worked out the shot ahead of time, then only do the shot once to see what's going on before you put both people on the table. So in this particular case, first things first, I'm gonna use top and one tip inside. Then I'm gonna shoot this, I'm gonna shoot it with a six speed, make the ball, come around and find out is that going to work? Well, it's close, but it's not what you want. So we know that two tips top, one tip of inside, got the cue ball running a little bit too much. Okay, let's go ahead and take the shot. By the way, I'm, I'm at a half a diamond and one and a half diamonds into the table. So you'll make up those decisions ahead of time. Okay, let me just go ahead and shoot this one more time just to show you how I would learn a shot. Now I'm gonna go with two tips top, and this time I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go one and a half tips inside. Let's see what happens. Well, I missed terribly. So I can't get a really true reading on that ball. Put it up one more time, and you hit it too fat, but keep in mind, once there's the both of you on the table, let's check this one one more time. Two, let's go to center. Now let's elevate two tips up, one and a half tips outside. Here we go. And see how much I'm much higher on the rail this time? And hello, there you go. So now what I'm gonna tell my partner, we're both gonna do this together at the same time. We got the chalk marks marked. We've got the position marked, marked. And you're teaching each other how to shoot shots that are gonna come up in a game and that's the kind of shots that you want to be working on. Shots that really, both of you have to have the ability to make those kinds of shots. In that particular case, it's two tips up, it's one and a half tips inside, and I'm using a full six speed shot stroke. And you need to have that kind of information that you're both sharing, and that's gonna be simultaneous. Next thing you're gonna come up with is spotter assistance. This is invaluable to no end. Spotter assistance for buddy shooting is so important. Now, whenever I'm training, if I really know, and I always know in advance what I'm going to be doing when I'm training. Don't just show up at a table and just start banging balls and, and well, I'm going uh, to practice six hours a day. Really? What do you practice? Well, I'm, I'm playing six hours a day. Don't give me that rack by rack by rack for six hours stuff. You want to be training? You're doing drills, just like any other professional athlete. When they're training, they're doing drills. So one of the key things you want to do is spotter assistance. Now, you know, my buddy James was here a few days ago, and I probably should have taken time and pre-recorded this lesson. And uh, so stop whining out there. You're just going to have to spend a little extra time with me. So here's how it works, okay? So... Let's just say this is a shot that comes up in the game and you know that typically uh, this could be missed. And, and again, here, we got to be making shape back to here. That's, that's the plan. Now, as the spotter, you have balls in your hand. You really only need a couple and uh, two or three at the most, but nearby. But you got a cue ball and another ball. Now here's the thing that's happening. So I'm down here, first things first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the person taking the shot. So watch what I do, okay? This is my part, okay? Setting it up, look at the shot, get in position, get ready. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm going back into my whole pre-shot routine to get ready for the next shot. My spotter with two other balls already 
puts up the first one, puts up the second one, and just stands right there. The spotter is just repeating, setting the ball back up, and get this one, once it's landed, and once I go into chalking mode, then go ahead and pick that cue ball up and, and put it on the spot. So the spotter is just putting the ball back in order to allow the person who's doing the shooting to stay in their pre-shot routine mode even though they're shooting the same shot over and over. Now, you can either have them shoot it 10 times on this side, then shoot it 10 times on that side, or alternate side by side by side 10 times each. And if the shot's missed, okay, watch what's gonna happen. If the shot's missed, you stay in the shot, pay attention to what's happening, Then when you get up and you start chalking again, that's when your spotter knows you're done evaluating what happened so the next time you can do it right. All the spotter is doing is then going ahead and putting the shot back up and you're just in the pre-shot routine mode evaluating. You say, well, you made the ball. You missed. You didn't miss. No, no, this cue ball. I need a cue ball on this piece of paper. So it wasn't a success. The shot is not over until every ball stops rolling. And then at that, the shooter is not finished until the shooter comes up from the shot. So working with a spotter is super helpful if you're going to do partner and buddies and so forth. Okay, so, so far you've got alternating shots, which any of the drill instructor drills are great, simultaneous shots which is perfect when they're both happening at the same time, but you gotta know what you're trying to accomplish. Number three, you got spotter assistance, which is great. By the way, when I'm hiring a spotter, if I plan to train for two or three hours on something where I don't wanna be chasing the ball and setting it up, that's breaking my whole pre-shot routine and rhythm. It's, you know, don't do, listen, when you're the only one at the table constantly setting up your shot over and over again, you're not practicing because you're constantly self-sabotaging yourself from being ready using your pre-shot routine between shot after shot after shot. You're self-sabotaging, you're, si you're secretly, silently self-sabotaging because you're too busy being an Iraq boy. You're too busy being the chaser. You're too busy being the spotter. That's not how you do it. So get a good spotter. That's what your partner can do for you. Otherwise, I pay somebody at least 10 or 15 bucks an hour depending on how many, two, three, five hours, whatever it is I'm gonna be using them for. I tell them exactly what I want them doing. And I do also always want them hovering around the table because then if you're ever playing on a camera table or anything like that, you're never distracted by people walking by. If you're distracted by people anywhere around your table, then you don't practice right. You should be practicing for that very same kind of thing. Okay, next, number four. Okay, I like this one. This is called the do what I say. This is great. So. I'm the shooter and my partner is just telling me what to do. And I'm only working to do what I'm being told. Now, what this is helping me with with my partner is two things. Number one, it's teaching me how to hear another voice tell me how to think. So it's really good to make sure you have somebody helping you do this who has a little bit of a head on their head about, uh, you know, what's right. Secondly, it gives your partner the ability to focus on teaching you how they think. And one of the things that's really important between partners is sometimes you can't talk too much. You need to be able to know how each other thinks. So do what I say is really, really great. I used to love this with Tom Parker, my personal coach for five years. And then when I turned pro by the time I was 19 years old, at the end of every one of our sessions for five years, he would be training me. And at the end of every session, I loved this part the best. It was like 20 to 30 minutes straight where he would just stay behind me and he would talk and tell me what to do. And I did it. He was teaching me how to think. I was learning how he thinks. 
you know, he was a constant 100 plus balls runner. I mean, he was just, you know, and I'm a formally trained straight pool player. So this is the discipline of how well that I was trained and what I'm passing on to you. So it teaches you how to think. It teaches you how your partner thinks. And if you come up and say something, if your partner who's shooting is smarter than you, they can turn back to you and teach you, no, that's not a good idea, and here's why. And it teaches you how to think based on what they're doing. So that's a really good one. It's called do what I say. Okay, and I like that. Okay, so that would be, you know, in a scenario, okay, we've already got it set up here. Let's just go ahead and put this back up here. We got the shot, and, and we'll call the six ball here. And, and, and my, my coach says to me, okay, shoot the... Uh, 10 ball, well, let's, let's make it a little backwards. So if it's a rotation game or, uh, and again, if it's not really a rotation game, it could be, you know, a, uh, a, a eight ball or whatever it is. But so if that might be the case, then put the eight ball out and get realistic. And then your partner says, okay, shoot the six ball, um, go two cushions and come back out to the center in order to put the eight ball in the side pocket. Okay. That's it. Now you know what to do. You get in position and you're down there on the shot. Your partner is hovering on the table. You're going to go ahead. You're going to take the shot. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. You stay down in the shot until the ball stops rolling. And then you get up and then your partner says, very good. Now um, shoot the eight ball on the side and plan for a ghost ball on the cushion Always the reason you dog winning balls is you don't make a position for a ghost ball afterwards. You need to be doing that. So make a position. So make a position for this ghost ball right here at one and a half diamonds on the cushion. So you can go in there. You can get yourself set up. Take the shot. And now put yourself in a position where you leave that ball in a controlled position for what it is you're trying to do. But this is great. I love do what I say. That's great. That's, that's, that's a great training drill. Now, next is number five, okay? Defined shots. Now these, now, these next two, you're actually playing games with your partner. You're playing games. And depending on who I'm working with, sometimes when I'm training them, I will do this, okay? It's defined shots. So we're playing a game. My role is to constantly save you. Or my role is to miss and make the cue ball and the ball you're supposed to be shooting at far apart. My role is to mess up your cluster uh, or your pattern or whatever the case may be. My role is to scratch and give you ball in hand. My role is to constantly do something throughout the whole game where I'm provoking you with that particular thing all the time. So for example, you're, and I know you understand what I'm saying, okay? Let's say we're playing a rotation game and uh, this is the way the table's set up. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll put the nine or the 10 ball out there and I'll just show you one quick example. Where are they? <laughs> here they are, the nine and the 10. Okay, so here, most of you don't play 10 ball. I'll just put it this way, okay? So now I'm on the one ball, okay? I'm on the one ball. And there it is, it's dead in the side. But what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to constantly antagonize you to come to the table with hard opening shots. So I pull something like this. Ta-da! Well, you can see it. You can hit it. I got you a ball off the rail and you've got to come with an opening shot. So every one of my shots, you're, I put you in, in an antagonizing situation. Okay, let's say, let's say that you made the one ball and you're down here and you're on the three and you missed. Okay, now I'm going to take another position and this time I'm going to, here, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this instead. Let me see if I can do this to you. Almost. So that's the idea. I was going to try to get you behind that ball and make you kick. But if I messed up, you still don't have a, an easy shot to get from the three to the four. You got some work to do. You got to hit this. You got to be able to pull it to the rail. You got to be able to come back or try to leave it over here and go that way. But anyway, I'm 
my role is to be the antagonist and I constantly am there challenging you as you're shooting. So that's number five. And number six is just, just play some challenge games. Just you and your partner, just play some challenge games. Now you can either play, play the ghost and you're playing as partners if you're alternating shots or just play and challenge each other and see who's better and just beat each other. But that's it. So alternating shots, simultaneous shots, spotting assistance shots, do what I say, define shot games, and just open challenge games. Those are the six variations of different ways that you could be working with partners, buddies, teammates, and really building the skill of the team up, okay? Now, I listen, please join DITV, okay? Do this. Uh, we've put this together. Technically, it's on Vimeo. Vimeo is the platform it's up. It's got all the volumes of the drill instructors' um, drills. It's all the DVDs. It's got a whole series of classes where I'm teaching in detail with, with graphics and, and some real technical explanations where right now I don't go into that kind of detail, uh, which I do on the programs. Uh, okay, please go to DITV, check it out right here on the Facebook page. You can go up at the top where it's pinned. You can just, and check out the, 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 the one class I gave you up there as a sample. You know, we're using multiple cameras, overheads. We're doing really good stuff and I can't encourage you enough. Okay, so thank you, buddy drills, partner drills. Uh, I know I've never really covered this before. Uh, this, however, when I work with teams, and by the way, if, if there's any two of you that are partners or you have your team, you could come to the drill instructor and we can do some team competition training and really, really be a benefit to you. Okay, everybody, listen, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, spending the time with me. You got to aim straight, shoot straight, split the pockets. That's the drill instructor way. Remember to go to Harold Prine's Prine Custom Cues. If you want to check out my new braking cue, my new jumping cue, and our new zero deflection performance tapering shaft, which is absolutely sensational. And Harold Prine and I, uh, you've met Harold before. Uh, we're partners and we've designed these things together. He builds them right here in America, which is the best part of it all. And I'm right here also with you to work and train. All right, I love you guys. God bless you. Mwah. See you next week.